This is Anne Turnbull, and today we're going to talk about handling objections. Don't be nervous about getting objections. Objections are just questions, uh, asking for clarity from your prospective business partners or customers. That's all they are. And it means that they are engaged. All right, so don't worry, you just need to learn how to handle them. So there's four basic steps to handling objections. The first is to listen. Just listen to them and seek to understand. If someone is to tell you, you know, I don't have, I don't have time to do this. You first, you want to understand, wow, tell me more about that. What, what do you mean when you say you don't have time? And just listen, ask a few questions. So do you work, you know, seven days a week? And are you there from, you know, what are your hours like? Oh, how long does it take you to commute back and forth? You know, what else do you have going on that takes up your time? Just listen and seek to understand. All right, so that's number one, listen. Number two is relate, relate to them, right? Have a conversation, wow. So you've got two jobs, you've got four kids at home, you've got your husband to take care of, you must not even have a second to breathe. I can only imagine. So you're relating to them. You're not, you're not arguing with them. You're relating to them. You're, you're understanding them. They're feeling that you get them. Okay, so listen, relate. The third is to share a story. All right, share either your story or someone else's story. Okay, so your story might be something like this. It might be, you know what, I felt the same way. I felt I really didn't have any time at all. But what I found, so this is a feel, felt, found way to share a story. I felt the same way. I felt I didn't have any time at all. I had a busy corporate life. I was working 14, 15 hours a day. I still had to take care of all my duties at home. I really felt I didn't have time to take on something else on the side. But what I found when I started to work at this business is that I could do it in the time that I had and I was actually, instead of feeling more stressed about, about my time, I was actually really excited about what I was doing. You know, and, and I know that if I keep at it, a little bit here, a little bit there, that I'm actually going to get my time back. And I can see that light at the end of the tunnel and it makes me so, so, so happy. And then number four, so we've done listen, we've done relate, we've done share a story. Number four is, if I, would you? That is our question that we use all the time. So number four in this example would sound something like, if I could show you how to do this with a very little time every day, fit it into the time that you have so that you could maybe have more time in the future, would you be interested in taking a closer look? Okay, so if I, would you? So that's the simple way to handle any objection. And as you get better and better at it, just remember the framework. Listen, relate, story, and if I, would you? You can actually handle anything that comes your way. All right? And by the way, once I, if I, would you, when you get to that stage, you're going to send them another exposure, okay? You're either going to give them something else to listen to, you're going to introduce them to someone maybe in your team who can help them with their objection, you're going to share another video, you're going to set up the next exposure, all right? Maybe it's sharing information, whatever it might be, but you're going to set up the next exposure. All right, I know you can do it, I believe in you, keep moving, keep growing, keep learning, and I can't wait to celebrate you at the top.